What is up guys, this is a little bit of a different video than usual, but pretty much I'm going to show you guys a pretty quick and easy guide on how to download Sonic Project 06, the extended mod. So pretty much uh, you need to look up this video which will be labeled in the description below. And it is by this person named Andrellis. I believe that's how you pronounce the name, but if not, shout out Andrellis for this mod. So pretty much what you're going to do, you're going to check out this video, you're going to go into the description and you are going to click this first link. This first link will bring you to this. And once you do that, there's gonna be a big blue download button right here. You click that, pretty easy, pretty simple. We're gonna dive into our folders very quick. All right, so this is going to be our, uh, our mod essentially. So we're gonna extract this. And once we extract it, it'll be in, come another folder. We grab this folder, we could throw this into Project 06 Silver Release, the same folder that you have um, where you can install the game essentially. And once you have that, uh, pretty much, you can double click this. When you click this, it's a step by step guide on how to uh, install essentially. So, pretty much, what you're going to do is locate Sonic Project 06, and you have to find the Sonic the Hedgehog data folder, and I will show you guys how to view that hidden file. Pretty much it says you can either use Alt V and then HH or the Windows Explorer options. Um, then you have to go in through there, go to manage, go to assembly C sharp. But this is all, this is what you gotta do beforehand. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. Essentially, we're going back to silver release. The Sonic the Hedgehog, PO6. Double click that and you have a folder that opens up. There's gonna be a couple of these that don't appear. Pretty much you can click view, or not view, you can click um it's like an it's an odd little button I've done it before there you go you can click options when you click options you can click the view and you can display like hidden files right here hidden files and folders show hidden files folders and drives pretty cool so once you do that what you're going to do is go to sonic the hedgehog data and what you're going to do now is you are going to go into Managed. Once you go into Managed, you're going to see Assembly C Sharp DLL. Whatever you do, do not lose this file. If you lose this file, you will probably reinstall the game to get another copy of this file. But what you're going to do is you're going to name it Backup. Doesn't matter what you name it really. Just I'm just going to name it Backup just for the hell of it right now. So we have that as Backup. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go back to the Project 06 folder where we have PO6 extended. And we're just going to click this just in case. Oh, this is just going to be like basic, uh, just like updates and stuff that came out with this new mod. Uh, I don't really need to look at that. If you want to look at that, feel free. But what we're going to do now is I'm gonna just maximize the screen just to make it a little easier on the eyes. We're going to click this. You see these two folders? We're going to drag them. We're going to drag them into the Project 06 Silver Release file. So now we have it over here. Drag these folders one more time into uh, Sonic 06 P06. And we're going to drag them a final third time into data. So it says it has stuff with the same names. Um, we're just going to say, let me decide. Uh, custom music. Oh, it's because I tried doing this before. So what we're going to do is, um, it is fine if we already have it in there. That's fine. So now what we did is we put it in the data and we put it in the managed and now we have assembly C sharp that DLL and we'll have our backup. So essentially what we're going to do now is I have mine opening in steam. It shouldn't matter though. But I'm open everything in Steam. We're gonna hit start. And when we load in, we should get a pop-up that says like, oh, you installed the mod or something like that. As you can see in the bottom right, we have the speed. And there we go. Project 06 extended 1.8 installed correctly. Thanks for using the mod. Press F12 to open the mod menu and have fun. So basically, I'm going to hop into the test stage, show you guys exactly uh, what it all looks like. As you see, it's nothing yet. What The fun really begins when you 
click um, F12. <laughs> so essentially, there's a speedometer over there in the bottom right. You can see uh, Sonic's speed, basically. It's pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Um, we have Ultra Smooth FPS, which kind of like uncaps it. It's pretty nice, I'm not going to lie, being able to play this and like un uncap the value. Um, we have custom music, which it's just like one custom song. I'm pretty sure it's probably something you can edit yourself. There's a global speed multiplier, so if we put this at like 99, uh, essentially Sonic can run at literally the speed of light. <laughs> pretty much. It's pretty cool when you have it at like 5 or something, because then you can fly around. It's kind of cool, not gonna lie. Um, we have free water sliding, which allows you to go on any surface that has water and allows anyone to do it as well which is really cool um we can climb on walls so if you go to a wall you can climb onto it it's kind of nice too uh it allows anyone in um basically shadow or sonic sections who can't climb on walls to be able to climb and like do those certain events there's a boost where if you hold i believe it's r2 oh there's a certain button that allows you Ooh. Oh, that's another thing. If you press the right trigger, you speed up the clock. So as you can see, I'm holding the right trigger and everything goes a little quicker. So if I do that while walking, you can see Sonic kind of flies around like crazy. <laughs> it's kind of cool. But after homing attack movement, I'm not exactly sure what that is. And this is after homing attack movement max speed. So that's just kind of another thing. We have invincibility. Now that we have it in enabled, we can go up to these and just never take damage, which is really, really nice. We have infinite gauge, so now Sonic can just spam this as much as he wants. Kind of cool. We have maxed out gems, so Sonic can spam it as much as he wants, but even faster. <laughs> uh, we have an uh, option to get all the gems, get the light memory shard, the lotus of resilience, get flame control, and get the sigil of awakening for silver. We have infinite rings, as you can see on the top left. Uh, here, let me go ahead and click this. My rings and my lives are all maxed now. You can uh, change the exact um, speed that you want. There's a faster chain jump and water immunity. Uh, chain jumping is kind of just like this. Um, I think it's more like if you go towards an enemy that if there's like multiple enemies by it, you can just like spam it. Yeah, like that. And, the, and usually it wouldn't be that fast. I think that's what it means. I might be completely wrong, but um, this is the boost options. If you guys want to check out uh, the file that was in there that shows you exactly what was changed and what's in it, I highly recommend. And at the bottom, you can save your settings in case you want to save it for next time you play. Um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask me. Oh, actually, before I even go, this is how you do the character swap. I believe what you do is you click L2 and you swap by pressing the inputs on the controller. So you press L2 or left trigger if you're on Xbox and you press any of the arrows on the D-pad left and right. So now we can play as Amy and we can go into any level we want right now. Like let's say we go into, let's say Dusty Desert for instance. So what you can do is you can just flat out become any person you want to be. <laughs> You can go ahead and be Amy, which is really cool because that allows you to play Amy a little bit more other than the one little section Dusty Desert she gets. And that's pretty much it for the mod. It's pretty cool. I highly recommend checking it out, especially if you are a very, very big uh, Project 06 player. It honestly helps with a lot of replayability and whatnot. And um, yeah, that's it for the video today. If you guys really like the like this kind of stuff. I'll try to do more like little troubleshooting videos and whatnot. Yeah, but that's pretty much it for me. Uh, my name is Lex. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful day. And peace out. Have a great thing. <laughs> my bad. I'm not good at these outros, but peace.